So in this video we're going to prove or verify the commutative property of matrix addition. So property number one, uh, two videos ago, uh, indicated that matrix addition is commutative, or in other words, the order of addition with matrices doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and prove this in a formal way, the way that you would be expected to do it on a homework or on an exam in order to get full credit. So we want to prove that matrix addition is commutative or that A plus B is the same as B plus A. We need to start first by just creating those two matrices. So we will do something like this. We'll say let A and B be M by N matrices. <clears throat> And the reason for having them be M by N matrices is so that they will have the same size because we can't, we can't add two matrices if their dimensions differ. So I'm constructing two matrices that are addable. And then what we'll do is we'll give a name to the sum A plus B and we'll give a name to the sum B plus A. So I'll say and let C equal the sum A plus B and Let's let the matrix D equal the sum B plus A. So to show that A plus B equals B plus A, what we would need to show is that C equals D, that the matrix C and the matrix D are the same. And remember from the previous video for common student errors, what we need to do is not show a concrete example, but we need to do this generically to demonstrate that it's true for all matrices. And for the matrix C to equal D, which would show that A plus B equals B plus A, what we need to show is that every corresponding element in each of these two matrices is the same. And what we want to think about is what does the generic element in C look like? Well, we represent the generic element in C with the little c sub i j, where i represents the row, and j represents the column. So little c sub ij represents the ith row jth column element in matrix C. And what we want to demonstrate is that the c sub ijth element is exactly the same as the d sub ijth element in matrix D. So in other words, if, if the ith row jth element for every element in C matches with the ith row jth element for every element in D, then the two matrices are the same. So this is what we need to show. We need to show that c, little c sub ij equals little d sub ij for all c and d in matrices c, uh, bit, uh, cap c and cap d. So we'll start off. We'll start off by saying note that what does an element in matrix C look like? Well, little c sub ij, the ith, jth, the ith row jth element in matrix C, based on the definition of matrix addition, is generated by taking the ith row jth element in matrix A and adding it to the ith row jth column element in matrix B. So it's going to, the C sub I jth element in C is going to be obtained by taking the A sub I jth element in, in matrix A and adding it to the B sub I jth element in matrix B. And these are both just two real numbers representing the real number in the ith row jth position in both matrix A and B. And because they're real numbers, what we recalled in video one for this homework assignment is that real number addition is commutative. This is just like three plus two, right? These are just, this is just the sum of two real numbers. So a sub ij plus b sub ij can be commuted so that it's b sub ij plus a sub ij. And when we see this, what we want to notice is that this is exactly what the ith jth element in matrix D would look like, right? The, the i jth element in matrix D comes from taking B sub ij plus A sub ij. So this is just, this sum right here is just the D sub ijth element from matrix A. 
And what we can see by the transitive property of equality then is that C sub ij equals D sub ij. So we'll draw a conclusion from this statement right here. We'll say because C sub ij equals D sub ij for every arbitrary element in matrix C and D, this means that matrix C equals matrix D or in other words A plus B which is what C is equals B plus A which is what we were wanting to show. Therefore matrix addition is commutative. And then we'll put our little tombstone there to end that proof.